What's up guys, another video today where we're actually gonna be focusing on something that I haven't shown you yet because I didn't quite get enough footage to make a full video out of it, but whilst we're all stuck at home in quarantine, I was going through some old footage, came across it, and thought it could be something you'd be interested in. So basically, the story is, right before we all went on lockdown, I actually went to Turin in order to visit Pininfarina and see one of their latest, greatest cars, which was meant to be revealed at the Geneva Motor Show, which was obviously then canceled. I went there, took a bunch of Instagram content, and was hoping to film a YouTube video, but actually we, it, was, it was a really quick visit and I think a client or someone arrived as we were beginning to film, so we actually had to leave. So I wasn't able to get a full video out of it, but I have some footage left over, which I thought seeing as this is a brand new, extremely rare car, I could share with you. Before we get into it too much, just want to remind you that you're still 73% not subscribed. Therefore, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video, which there's a big chance you are, why don't you click that little button down there, put the little bell on so you know when we're posting a video next. So what is this car? Well, Pininfarina has now been a design house for 90 years and to celebrate their anniversary, they created a special limited run edition of their Pininfarina Batista, which is a hypercar they have developed fully electric, limited to 150 pieces worldwide. They have made the Anniversario edition of that car limited to only five pieces worldwide. Worldwide. <laughs> this car comes in at 2.6 million euros, but 060 in under three seconds from 1,900 horsepower. Thank you very much. Absolutely insane. Fully electric, shares a lot of parts and platform with Rimac, the Concept 2. Rimac is basically the most established maker of electric motors, kind of, in the hypercar world, I'd say. And then Pininfarina, obviously, being one of the most legendary design houses of all time, designing most of the Ferraris you and I know and love, they added their beautiful exterior design to this car. The car is absolutely stunning. Now, they brought in quite a lot of new technology. So I filmed, I could only film a few little clips, and I was speaking French, so I'm kind of going to walk you through it. Uh, you can see a few things like, for example, the carbon fiber. Some of the carbon fiber is tinted blue. So there's a mix of silver, white, and blue on this car, and obviously dark colored normal carbon fiber. However, what they've done is they're some of the first to ever actually tint the carbon fiber directly rather than put carbon and then kind of wax some color on top of it. So the carbon fiber itself is actually tinted and it's hard to describe and it doesn't come off on camera perfectly, but when you look at it, it kind of gives the carbon this really deep effect, which is beautiful when you see it in real. The rims also weigh in at two and a half kilos each and that's because they've used F1 technology such as kind of drilling holes away in the bits of the rim that they don't actually need. They've reviewed bits of the interior as well, putting cutouts in the seats for example in carbon. You've got these three really cool screens and overall they've kind of just made the car a little bit more special looking. There are a few aerodynamic details like the side skirts which are enhanced around back and front with this front splitter and the fuser. It's just a little bit beefed up, kind of like a GTO version or an L T version of the Pininfarina Batista. Now, if you haven't been able to be selected to be one of the lucky five people to get the Anniversario Edition, you can get a package for your stock Batista, which includes a lot of the aerodynamic details, but you wouldn't be able to get the livery and a few little 70th anniversary logos, which are kind of dashed all over the car. We were so lucky, so massive thank you to Pininfarina for allowing us to go to the factory, have a look around, get a little bit of a grasp of the history of the brand and see the car in front of us for real as some of the first people ever to see it in the flesh. It is so, so cool. I particularly love the way they've designed the outside and those huge doors that come up and seeing the way these electric cars are kind of developing. It's also awesome. another Batista we all knew quite well, but this kind of leads us into thinking there may be some special editions, even more hardcore editions to come in the future. I'm not too sure, but definitely their platform of the Batista is an awesome start for any potential future versions to come. Also, I don't know yet if they've sold all 150 of them, if the anniversary editions are sold, but I thought, you know, it's a shame to have this footage sat there without sharing it with you guys. 
So we're gonna keep this video fairly short, not make it too long-winded. Let me know what you think of the car down below. If you'd like to see more of the car, potentially once we're out of lockdown, we could go do some more with them. Definitely one of the coolest hypercars out there. The fact that it's fully electric, they're really kind of stepping things forward and the acceleration and performance of this thing must be absolutely mind-blowing. So there it is, the Pinion Farina Anniversary Edition, a quick video. I just wanted to go over some old footage and share that with you. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this and I'll be seeing you again very, very soon, guys. Cheers, bye-bye.